for sure mold. I'm just telling you that right now. That is gnarly, that is bad. Hey, it's Alex Clark. I'm actually in between shoots today and I thought I have this huge bag with me. What if I just go through what's in my bag? I have to carry a ton of stuff with me back and forth from home to the office because I film a lot. So there's a lot of things that I need on a daily basis and I've never done a video like this before and I just have always wanted to do it. I always see people do it and I love watching them. So let's do a what's in my bag. All right, the bag is the brand Bagu, not to be confused with Wagyu. It's so cheap. I think this was under $50 um, and really cute. I wanted something summery and had pockets and whatever. It didn't need to be expensive. I just wanted a cute summery looking backpack to be casual for day to day stuff. All right, so I'm going to start with some of the big stuff in here just to get it out of the way, but I do have a book in here, Sherry Lapina, Not a Happy Family. I am almost done with it, hoping to finish it this week. It's about a bunch of rich siblings and their parents end up murdered and they're trying to figure out which one of the siblings killed them because it's clearly somebody in the family because there's a lot of money at stake. Came here to murder you. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know whenever I finish books, I always post them on my stories and then I give an, a rating review. So if you wanna find out what I think about it, be following me on Instagram. This is the Siete grain-free Mexican wedding cookies made with almond flour and coconut oil. So freaking good. The texture, the taste, it's like a vanilla, I don't know, it's a vanilla type of powdered sugar type of cookie, but this is excellent. You can get it at Whole Foods and uh, no seed oils. Sunglasses. These are Poppy Lissiman. Come in this cute little sleeve. They're probably super filthy from pool days, but they look like this. I'm kind of liking like a 70s vibe right now and these come in all kinds of lens colors. I don't know if you can see a reflection of all the equipment in front of me, but anyway, I picked these because I like the blue tint and thought these would be fun. I'm liking the style right now. Ah! How did this get in here? This was not supposed to be in here. Been dying to talk about these. Highlands homeopathic menstrual cramp little dissolving tablets. You stick two of these under your tongue, they dissolve, it tastes like nothing, um, and you just drink water or something afterwards, and it's just like a chalky texture. But this is filled with magnesia. You take them every four hours when you're on your period or you're cramping really bad, and I don't know what it is, it's just natural relief for menstrual pain, and it is so freaking good, and I love these, and I think it's better than Midol and probably better for you. A big old Kiehl's creme de corpse. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. <laughs> That's also probably being said wrong. The, I don't know how to say it. Creme de corpse. <laughs> but that sounds like a dead body. It's not dead body lotion, but if you looked at some of my dry patches right now, um, I look like I'm probably a dead body. This is filled with terrible ingredients, but it's a, just a cult favorite and I've always loved it. And it's something that ironically has to be pried from my cold dead hands. My wallet, of course, it's Kate Spade, RIP. Um, it's filthy, it's dirty. I need a bigger wallet, but um, this thing has been through the ringer. What kind of gift cards do I have in here? Abercrombie and Fitch. Barnes & Noble, Ulta, Cheesecake Factory. Fun story about this Cheesecake Factory gift card. It's from an ex-boyfriend. That was his Valentine's Day gift to me. I'm gonna finish him like a cheesecake. No, I have not used it. I'm still insulted. Literally probably the worst gift I've ever received, ever. That was what he gave me for, I'm still, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm over him, I'm not over that. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Car keys. Now, I do have something funny to tell you about my car keys. I have this massive uh, turning point badge. Whenever I'm out in public, I always have to hide that because I don't want to get into like a political debate with a stranger. I'm always scared of that happening. I have a Hello Kitty key. This is uh, the house key to my parents' house actually in Indiana. So I don't ever use that, but I do have it. Car key. Um, one of you gave me this at a conference before. It's a little keychain that says baddest babe in the USA. And I have that on my keys. So whoever you are, 
are. Thank you. I think that's so cute. Now, here's something embarrassing. This ring, as you can see, was ground zero for the vid, obviously. I mean, this is so disgusting. It is, I don't even know. I bet if I got this tested, it's covered in Ebola. 2319! We have a 2319! <laughs> This was the key ring that I got when I first got my driver's license when I was 16. And I just can't part with it. It is so filthy disgusting. Um, my mom, every time she sees me, she tries to sneakily, without me knowing, replace this because it grosses her out so much. I get so upset. It is so ragged and nasty. It's from 31. He hasn't been decontaminated yet. Jacques! Oui. Clean in! Oui. Ocean! Ooh, la mer! Bon. I mean, it just couldn't be uglier, but it's like, it's like a baby blanket to me. Like, it's so special. This is what my car keys have been on since I started driving. Baby Alex used this, so I keep it. I have a few lip shades. This is the uh, YSL lipstick in 07. I guess it doesn't have a fun name. I only like orange toned red lipsticks. I do not like blue toned red lipsticks on me. I don't think it looks good. This is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipstick in Feminist. <gasps> So we have a special gel for Alex. Right to gel, right away. I didn't know that was the name of this. That is so terrible, terrible of me. But it's a great nude color. This is the shade that I'm wearing today. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Supermodel. It's beautiful brown nudish color. Um, everybody talks about Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I actually think that's a little bit too light on me. But the Supermodel shade, just hair darker, I think it's better. This is actually supposed to be something that you use at night, but I cannot live without it. It is the Laneige, I don't know how to say these names, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, really putrid that I just stick my dirty fingers in there throughout the day and put this back on. But uh, one thing is, there is not a lip balm that I truly feel like hydrates and lasts throughout the day like this. I need um, I have a ton of Garnu tampons in here. If you listen to this spillover over my podcast, then you know that I use Garnu tampons. These are 100% conservative owned uh, and 100% organic cotton. No fragrances, no dyes, no chlorine. The best tampons I've ever used, the best brand that I've ever used. I know that they're coming out with pads very soon. They also have menstrual cups. But anyway, not to like get super into periods, I could. I mean, I have this and then I have the Menstrual cramps, natural relief for menstrual pain. These two together. These are just the best. I have um, several close girlfriends who struggle with cramps. They switch to Garnu. They're like, Alex, my cramps are 10 times better. And I'm telling you, it is the difference of using organic cotton. It's like your body is absorbing stuff. You know that happens through your mouth and your nose. Like, why wouldn't it happen down there? Not to get too graphic. Sorry to the male camera people, but for real. 911. Yeah, my friend is bleeding out of her vagina. Oh, this is so bad on my crunchy journey. But I do have a travel size of static guard because my hair, my clothes, I'm always dealing with static electricity problems. And I mean, my mom has used this since I was a child. This has to be just straight poison. I can't think of anything more poisonous. It has to be way worse than even regular hairspray. But you just spray this on you and the static goes away, it goes away in your hair, you spray it on your hairbrush before you brush your hair. It is a miracle worker, but has to be so bad. Somebody has to tell me that knows like how bad this is. <laughs> it's probably illegal in other countries. Like I'm just telling you, like you breathe this in and you're like, <gasps> like it's horrible. Ooh, this is my Mimi Skincare Broad Spectrum Brightening Day Protection, uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen that I like to use sometimes, not always, but sometimes when I'm done filming, I like to wash my makeup off, um, depending on what I have going on. Sometimes I'll go to red light therapy or something like that after work, and so I wanna take my makeup off so that the red light, I mean, you don't have to have makeup off to do that, but I like to. So I'll like, you know, just put moisturizer on and then put sunscreen on top of it. I love this stuff. Smells so good, smells so fresh and clean. And Nimi, by the way, is another conservative owned beauty company that I adore. I have used them for several years. They're also a spillover sponsor. And for Garnu and Nimi, we'll put like their codes and all that in the comments because I do have a code for their products. But just some of the best skincare products and I love that they share my values and that's just been amazing. <laughs> 
I always try everything and just because they're conservative doesn't mean I'm gonna like it and it doesn't mean I'll ever promote it or share it. But I actually did like these products and so that's why I've posted about them now for years. This is the Beekeeper Naturals Propolis Immune Support Throat Spray. You use it daily. So good if you are feeling even the hint of a cold coming on, if you're uh, experiencing problems with allergies. It's basically like a bee pollen product. And I have been raving about bee pollen forever. <laughs> For the first time, I have not had spring allergies and it is because I eat bee pollen every day or I use this throat spray. It's just sweet. It, just, it doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes sweet. But this is great and totally all natural and um, a lot better for you than other traditional throat sprays if you're feeling a little sick. What else do I have? <laughs> Dental floss. Fun fact, if you are in a pinch, like you're on a date or something, and you have something in your teeth, and you don't have floss in your bag, you can use the uh, pointy part of your earring, stick it in your teeth, absolutely vile, um, but it works. Ooh, I have a couple of my Agent Natur and Dr. Will Cole Holy Main Collagen Supplements, travel size. So if I'm running out the door and I don't have time to make my own drink, I can get my, I can buy a drink somewhere. I can go to, I don't know, Tropical Smoothie Cafe or Starbucks or whatever. Whatever I get, you can pour this in. It's tasteless. And this is the collagen that has really helped with my hair and then my skin recently. Oh, this is so freaking expensive. You won't believe how expensive this is. Unfortunately, I don't have a code with them or anything, but despite the price, this is one of those products that I do feel is worth it. I have noticed a hell of a difference in my skin and hair and stuff since using it. Started using this um, or drinking it in like February and uh, cannot live without this. This is going to be a staple for life. Perfume, another bad thing. Bad, oh my crunchy journey. This is Yves Saint Laurent Libra Parfum. I mean, I think, I don't remember the full name. I will tell you this, this is an exception perfume for me. This is, a, I don't know what this smells like, but I should have looked up the notes before filming this. But I usually tend to go for fragrances that smell, I always describe it as an ashtray. I wanna smell like the nastiest campfire bonfire or an ashtray. She tastes like cigarettes. I love the smell of vanilla and tobacco. Almost all of my perfumes are vanilla tobacco. The lavender is a twist on what I normally like. So this is an exception. I don't normally go for perfumes like this, um, but I do still wear perfume. Yes, I know I shouldn't, but it's something that I don't wanna get rid of. I really enjoy having a signature smell and people telling me that I smell good. So it's staying. <sighs> Running out of room on this table, so just, I need to move. Okay, okay. Okay, here's the best part. This is the bag within the bag. I have my makeup bag with me today. I did my makeup at the office, so I happen to have my makeup. This is also disgusting. I'm not one of those people that can ever keep a makeup bag looking clean, but my best friend Lauren got me this for Christmas one year, and it is Taylor Swift lyrics to the song August. Um, it has people doing a pinky promise, and it says, meet me behind. It says, it has people doing a pinky promise, and it says, meet me. It has, Two little people doing a pinky promise on it and it has Taylor Swift lyrics that says, meet me behind the mall. And it's precious, so t uh, Lauren got me this. I'm gonna set this down now. Okay, I'm not gonna go through every item in here because there's a lot, but I'm gonna go through the big juicy things. Like we're not gonna talk about my nasty makeup sponge that I, I am 99% sure started to grow mold. So we will be replacing that. Um, I need to do that today. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Okay, I have posted about this, talked about this. This is the primer I use. It is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Glow Serum. You need this. It is a game changer if you want a glowy look. It brings out like peach tones and it is to die for. Uh, this is the primer that I use. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer in shade One Pale. I do not like super dark bronzers. I just like a little bit for a little contour under the cheeks but you can see that I have hit pan, so I do use this a lot. So actually, I'm gonna put these things back or I will lose them. There's makeup brushes and crap in here. This is a fun product. All of my stuff is so dirty and gross. This is just, we call it hair mascara here at the office, but I use this every day. 
yeah, pretty gnarly. The, it's called finishing hair cream. Just look up hair mas mascara on Amazon. Um, I can't see, I have no mirror, but you, this is like what I do to get my baby hairs down. It leaves no oiliness, no residue. It is magic. I tell everybody that are like, I struggle with my baby hairs. I'm like, oh my God, get this stuff on Amazon. You can get like a whole pack of like 50 of them. Obviously, I mean, the system sucks. I mean, the guy's walking the streets, I'm kissing it. I go through this like water. Oh, for sure, mold. That is gnarly, that is bad. That is bad. Anytime I get breakouts, I can usually tell it corresponds with me needing to change my sponge out. So if you're experiencing that and you're like, man, I'm breaking out more than usual, you probably have a moldy makeup sponge. That is a fact. Okay, that was what is in my bag. So now I'm being told to wrap it up because I have to go film something else, but I wanted to do something fun and different for you. I hope you liked it. And um, I don't know, this is fun for me and different. Say goodbye, Tucker. Goodbye. Good?